and I'm from Fresh Fresh Level Pro, and this is what I do. I mean, you've grown so much since that time. <laughs> hey, hey guys, Comfort Killers, we're here in the lab and studios. I'm hungry, and I got white around my lips. Because I'm so hungry. I'm hungry to help people. Okay. I am starving to help people. To help people like you get out of the rut. Get unstuck. Unpull the wool. Unfilter the filter. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we do here at the Comfort Killers. I created the Comfort Killers as a way for me to get uncomfortable. Because my life was a mess. A total mess. All right, I was addicted to gambling nine plus years. I didn't know if I was up or down because I was in the mud. I was actually digging myself, uh, digging a grave, man. Financially, spiritually, relationshiply. Okay, I'm going to make up words at this point. I realized that I had to have control, uh, take control back in my life because you know what had control on me? The TV, my employer, my mama, my daddy. Everything, everything, the, the slot machine had control on me. Man, I actually read an article that said the psychological approach that the slot machine has. And I read it while I was in like totally addicted to gambling. I was, I was just reading it and I was like, I was like, man, this can't get me. I'm not a zombie. That's what the hell psychological, it's not messing with me. I realized that I was totally, totally zombified. And what's that thing when you're under a spell? Possessed. Possessed. And the other thing when people like this with the little clock. Hypnotize by the slot machine, by the casino life for that fast money shortcut, which was really never fast because I never made any from there. Walked out of there worse than I was and had the nerve to say that I wanted more of what my life. There was things that were wrong. The things that were wrong was that I was saying and thinking one thing and doing the next. Have you ever done that? Have you ever said, I'm going to do this report, I'm going to complete this thing, and then you were thinking it, you were saying it, but you were doing something opposite. That's when things aren't aligned. That's when you are way off purpose, you're way off track, you're way out of control. And I realized that I had to pull control back in my life. If I wanted to change my life and create something of myself, I had to take control back. So that's number one, comfort killers, when you're talking about life as a whole and pulling in. What does change look like? When someone can say, man, Stace, you really changed. You really, I don't even know who you are. Thank you. Before I'm like, I was scared to change. I was scared to think what other people would think of me if I was more, uh, more concerned with reading a book and getting some knowledge and, and working out and working on me and closing my phone, turning it off and cutting off cable and doing all that thing. I was concerned with what they would think about me, which is absurd, which is absurd. And now I'm like, thank you for noticing. And I realized that my mission, my purpose, my passion was helping other people recognize their fullest potential and take some control back. Matter of fact, take it all back because everything that's happening to you happens because of you, happens through you. Even the negative things that were happening, I had to accept responsibility, take that back in my life, to be a responsive person, not a reactive person. I wanted to respond to everything that was happening because I created it. Once that mindset switched and I realized, bro, I, re I created this flat tire, I created me losing my job, I created earning what I earned a year, I created being in a relationship that I am in, good or bad, indifferent, whatever it is that you're going through your life. Cre you create it, accept it, pull it back in because that's the only way that you're able to control it. So the first step, gotta leave this casino. Gotta leave this life. It's killing me. It's hurting me. It's, it, I'm heartbroken. I'm contempt. I'm freaking self-defeating me. I was killing me. I. Now that's a powerful word. Do we ever even look at that one, one word, the one letter I, I. What are you doing with I, the I, the power that you have? When you say I am, what are you saying? I had to learn how to speak. 
So you, the first thing I did was pull up a thousand affirmations. Siobhan can attest. And I posted them all over the house. The bathroom, you want to take a pee in my house? Come on in because you got 20 affirmations staring you back. The mirror, full of affirmations. I had to redirect what I was seeing in my space. This and all of these type of trainings to unblock and unlock and unstuck and unfilter and unpull the wool, it will happen in the Comfort Killers Academy. I created an academy because I realized, man, people need this stuff. People need help. People need to change. People need to overcome addiction. People need to get better at their relationship, at their life, at their finances, at their spiritual being, their wellness. People need this, and I am here because of what I've been through, what I've learned, what I've created. I am here to teach millions how to get uncomfortable, to think better, act better, and live better, and I do that through mindset performance and contributions. If you're interested, if you are interested, and I know you're interested because you're actually watching this all the way through. You're here with me six minutes plus. That means you, yes, you, I'm talking to you. You're interested. I know this because you're still here. You need to log on right now, thecomfortkillers.com. Waste not a second more in taking action. We've been wasting it our whole life. Now it's time to do something about it. And that's the import, most important thing, is that we haven't been doing anything. Anything that will move our life in this direction instead of moving our life in the downward spiral direction. I am Stacey A. Cross. And there is no E in my name, and it's been a pleasure hanging out with you today. Hope you found this valuable. If you did, share it out. I used to be scared. I used to be scared to share things that was important to me and scared to share things that meant something to me. I'm not a hoarder of knowledge anymore. Share me out in your universe and have people attract me, okay? Because I'm attracted to you. Be great, and remember, remain uncomfortable. I am.